Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Excuse the way I'm looking, y'all. It's early in the morning, but I'm up because I have to get these orders out. So as you can see from the title, this is a package of orders. I also have a box of jewelry. If y'all don't know, I sell jewelry. Today, I'm going to just be talking. I don't know what I'm talking about. Honestly, I'm just going to talk about business. Maybe like how I got to this point. Or kind of talking about, I'm going to start off with like how I feel that my business did this year. And the things I could have changed to do better, per se. And stuff like that. And then, I guess I can weave into like how I got to this point. Y'all, I don't know. I'm just talking because I didn't want it to just be a, oh, just watch me package orders. That's boring. I wouldn't want to sit and watch that. So, I'm not going to produce that type of content. So, again, here's the orders. And I got my, y'all, I use a thermal lake printer. So, I got all of my orders right here. And I'm just about to package them all up and talk to y'all at the same time. Let's start off with like how I feel this year went. Um, this year was pretty. This year was pretty good. This is actually my first full year of only selling jewelry. So in the past, I sold cosmetics um this is my first full year just fully jewelry only um 2021 i sold cosmetics at the beginning of the year and then i think around may may i think it was i decided to change my business name and Change my business name and only sell jewelry just because that was what was doing best for me. Like my cosmetics wasn't really selling and like putting cosmetics and jewelry on the same page was just like it just didn't go together at all. So I made the decision to stop with the cosmetics and just focus purely on jewelry. Um which has been going good. Um, this year, low key could have went better. Like, I'm my biggest critic, so like, I'm hard on myself because I know what I can do. I know what I've done in the past. Like, I just know. So, what I could have done better was post more content, like. I'm in college, y'all, so sometimes posting content can just get overwhelming while trying to, like, make sure that I keep my grades up, y'all. I go to Spelman, and if y'all know Spelman, well, matter of fact, you don't even gotta know. Go look up Spelman's price. Go look up Spelman's price. I just can't waste that much wasted by failing my classes. I can't waste that much money by failing my classes. So like I gotta stay on top of my classwork. So sometimes when school gets really hectic and y'all I'm a junior so this year was like my first year like really getting into my major. It got really hectic at some point I just remember it just being a lot. So I just stopped posting on my business page which Again, it's gonna hurt. Like, I lost followers on my business page. Like, of course, if you're not posting, nobody's gonna miss, nobody's going to want to follow you if you're not posting your content. Like, I wasn't posting content. I accidentally go to too many, but that's beside the point. But I wasn't post. I wasn't posting content. 
I was inconsistent this whole year. It was like I would post and I would stop posting. I would become active for like three, four weeks and then I wouldn't. Like, there's so many things that I should have done differently. But honestly, I can't, you can't like change it. Like, I can't go back and change it. The only thing I can do is use what I learned to make sure that 2023 is like better. And not saying this was the worst year of business because it was good. Like I had some good points, y'all. I got I got to with me just being like when I go to school in Atlanta. So with me going to school in Atlanta, I have like opportunities to get in certain rooms that like I wouldn't have the chance to if I was back home. So that helps with some of you know my business stuff. So I'm able to like go to these events, go to these concerts and like get people my stuff. Like people if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you be seeing that because I will post it when it comes to my business stuff and I'm getting celebrities, influencers in my stuff, I will post that. So, just when it comes to that aspect, I feel like I did good. There were some instances that I could have done better with y'all, unless you're like my immediate family, or like my friends that I talk to every day. Like, I'm just really shy. Like, I don't really, I don't know. I'm just shy. So, there were instances where I was maybe in a room and I could have like said something or I could have did something to promote my business or like to get it out there. Maybe got social anxiety at this point in my life. So it's like, I just be like, no, like I can't do it. I won't go to certain events just because of like, I don't wanna go by myself or something like that. And when in all actuality, I should be, going to these events just so that I can like get my name out there, get my business out there, network with people while I'm here. Like I'm a junior. I only have a year left at school. I don't know if I'm gonna stay here. I don't know how long I'm going to I don't know if I'm gonna stay here after school. So like I could have just networked a little better this year. But that's like one of my things next year is to like really network, get my business out there, go to these business seminars, business events, um, and just spaces where people who I admire and like want to, not necessarily want to be like, but who I can see like has similar similarities to where I want to be at. So I just really want to do that. For this upcoming year so that's like one of my big things that i'll be focused on this upcoming year is to just go to these events get my name out there get my business name out there so that's like that was like one of the things i could have done better on and what else Another thing I feel like I was like, I could have done better on this year was YouTube. Like, I ain't done so many things and like, y'all, I tried to film videos so many times, but I might still upload like one big compilation of like, videos that I like try to do and just it just didn't work out because I either forgot or just didn't just didn't film the rest so I'll probably end up doing that at some point soon y'all look at my little boxes I plan on upgrading these boxes once I run, once I run out of these i want to upgrade to like the the super 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 good boxes like these are nice and like they have my branding on it or whatever but i want like for next year like i want like luxury luxury like luxury like this is nice 
and my jewelry quality is like top tier. So I want my packaging to be top tier as well. That's another thing I felt like I could work on. Packaging and just presenting my brand. Um, I feel like I could have. Um, TikTok, like I feel like TikTok is like a really good resource to like grow your brand right now. Like for my graphic design TikTok, I was able to like get that TikTok to almost 10K and y'all I just stopped posting like mid-year. Like I was doing so well, like literally all of my videos would go viral on there and like but I just got unmotivated and stopped posting on there. So I'm gonna get that started back to next year. Um, I'm gonna start planning my YouTube content out because I want to give y'all more detailed videos, like day in my lives, like how I like manage all of this. Like I have a business. A pretty good business at this point like I feel like my business is doing well but I could be doing more so if I document that journey maybe it'll push me to want to post on my business page just so that I can see like the growth from okay now I may be pushing out 20 orders a week but in a few months it could be 200 a week and I just want to be able to look at that growth and have like other people see that growth so that they can feel like oh she did that i can do this too like that's my goal and goal or whatever so yeah another thing i wish i would have not been so hesitant on like trying other things like i started I tried to do clothing 2021. It didn't really sell. I also tried to do lip gloss this year. And I'm gonna just be transparent. It didn't really go well. I feel like the lip glosses were good, but I also took a different route. Usually when I first started my cosmetic business, I would make the lip gloss, found a vendor, tested the vendor. The vendor lip gloss is good. But I just feel like it's better for me to make it because I can get more content. I can get like mixing videos, stuff like that. And I feel like people like to see that type of stuff. Mixing videos, filling up the lip gloss too. Like, they like that type of stuff. Like, honestly, when you get a manufacturer or like a vendor to produce lip gloss, it's like you can't really show behind the scenes of like making it and all that type of stuff that I feel like people like really like to see. Process of rebranding that. Um, y'all, my goal, I'm gonna just tell y'all like what the big, how I see the bigger picture of everything going. So y'all know how Kylie has, Kylie makeup, Kylie skin, like all of that. That's what I wanna do for my brand. So it's Chassis here. So, boom, I got the jewelry. I want to do Chassier. I haven't decided if I want to call it Chassier Cosmetics or Chassier Beauty. I started out with Chassier Beauty, but I don't know. I like the, the C's with the cosmetics. So, like, Chassier Cosmetics go better than Chassier Beauty. But, y'all, I want to sell hair, too. Like, I have a fire hair vendor and I've been sitting on that for like the last two years like I got the vendor but it's just like starting is like uh like starting is really where I be messing up like I got a fire vendor like I know the hair is good I mean I use the hair on myself multiple times I ain't used it in a while just because I've been getting braids I'm going to order a wig just because I haven't ordered from them in a long time and I would like to make sure that the quality is still the same. So I'm going to order a wig and I'm also going to order some bundles because I want to do two different hairstyles. I want to do, um, you know, just the leave out. 
I haven't decided if I'm gonna quick weave or sew in, y'all. I don't like keeping stuff in my hair a long time, like weave. Like I can keep braids in a long time, but I just cannot do bundles in for a long time. That stuff start itching, you can't get to your scalp. So I don't know if I'm going to do a sewing weave. I might just do a quick weave, that way I can just take it off, clean the tracks, and whenever I wanna get it done again, put the quick weave back up. So I think I'm doing a quick weave, but I'm also gonna get a frontal wig because my birthday, my 21st birthday is in March. So I'm probably taking, probably most likely, I'm gonna take pictures January. So I am going to need a wig for that because I wanna do like, Y'all been seeing like the messy updo style. I want to do like a messy updo style. So that's going to be real cute. I'm going to put her up with the bag. And she got a, she got a photo pin too. You know, that's just how it looks. And I just put, this is like a jewelry wipe and then a jewelry care card on top. And then I close it with the box and then. And then I got my business cards and this is the packaging slip, which I'm not gonna show y'all because it has her address on there. And then I'm gonna put this on top. Y'all, I couldn't find the white boxes for these that would come quick. So like it is, my old boxes were black and white. So it matched the vibe and it's black on this thing. So I just feel like it matched. So that's what I'm gonna use for now. Next year I plan on opening more businesses. The vision for my businesses is to be like Rihanna with like Fenty and like Kylie with like, she got Kylie skin. Kylie, what else? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't really like watch into them, but I do know that like she has like Kylie Boom, Kylie Baby. I know, I think it's like baby skin and cosmetics, I think. Baby Fenty skin, Savage X Fenty, like, that's like what I'm trying to build. Like, I'm trying to build like a brand. Yeah. That has multiple brands, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, and I would change my graphics name to that too. But I feel like that's just overboard, like. But let me know in the comments. Do y'all think that's overboard or should I like change everything to Chelsea and just be like Chelsea graphics? Chelsea cosmetics, Chelsea clothing, Chelsea home. Who knows? I might do candles. Like, I'm just in the era of trying stuff out. And whatever sticks, sticks, honestly. Because I just don't see myself doing one thing like jewelry is cute and you know it's getting it's getting things done right now jewelry is not where I see my end points like I want bigger way bigger that's really it for this video I'm going to get off camera and package the rest of these orders up because I gotta make it to this post office before they close. And y'all, it's Saturday, so they be closing early. So I gotta hurry up. Um, yeah, I enjoy talking to y'all. I, if you know me, you know I can like go all day about business, which is why this video is going on an hour almost. Um, yeah, I just really love talking about business. So give me more videos to do. I don't want all my videos to be business based. Like I wanna do vlogs. I wanna like show y'all when I go out in Atlanta and stuff like that. When I go to these different events. So just comment down below some video ideas of which I would like to see. Um for 2023 because I plan on being more consistent on YouTube. Um just on all social medias in general. Don't judge me, I look crazy, but I literally was like, I need to get one, at least one more video out before the end of the year. 
and I'm doing that regardless of how crazy my hair looks. I'm getting, I'm taking it down today, y'all. But that's besides the point. Let me stop rambling. Thank y'all if y'all got this far for watching me talk about business. Cause I'm probably going to cringe editing this just because I was so off topic and my brain just everywhere at this point. And yeah, that's really it for this video. So, yeah. Just do what you wanna